I'm out here in Maryland. I'm applying for PhD program, so hopefully I get in. If not, it's gonna be all over the internet. Once my body is replenished, I will work on my applications because they're due Friday. It's almost December and the whole month of November was crazy. I've been working on my applications for the last like two months. They're due December 1st. Now we're in the final week before my applications are due. It's fine. So basically I've been doing my applications. I'm finalizing them because I want to submit them tomorrow. Yeah, so I was going through the portals and making sure that like everything is basically done and all I have to do tomorrow is just review it one last time. But I only went through one school just now. <laughs> and I have nine. I'm scared to put the names of my schools I'm applying to in here because I'm like, oh, you know. But if I get an interview, then I'll give my list of the schools that I apply to. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the Harvard application portal now. The amount of essays that I had to write. The amount of essays I had to write. Language background. Do I include Korean? <laughs> Let me ask my sisters. I think I'm gonna include it. Even though it's terrible. But I'll put it as level rudimentary. Three semesters of Korean, but I can't speak it at all. In my last semester of Korean, I got a B plus. And I'm Korean. I didn't even get an A. SMH. Today is Thursday. And I'm gonna submit my applications today. I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna read it <clears throat> out loud. Almost every- after my time, I literally just read that sentence. I did not comprehend what I was reading. I think that's good. <laughs> I just reviewed my application for Duke and I'm about to submit. It's $95. $95. Yay. Okay, one of nine down. I'm gonna be spending like $1,000 on application fees. Woohoo! Application submission. Uh, two out of nine. I needed a little break, even though I only submitted two applications. I finished my ice cream and then I sat on Instagram for like 30 minutes because I am losing steam and I need to submit more applications. I just submitted Emory, Vanderbilt, and UVA. It's 10.15. I want to submit GWU today, but that one I know has a little more work to do because I, I was a little slacking on that one. I'm going to take a nap, and which is so dangerous because either my naps are amazing and they're only 15 minutes, or I wake up and I go back to sleep for three hours. You guys should record it, that would be so funny. I'm gonna do that. 18 minutes. I'm giving myself 3 minutes to fall asleep and then 15 minutes of actually napping. I want to fall asleep again. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep now. <sighs> Literally. Oh my gosh. My nap didn't work. I remember waking up and I was like, oh, I feel really awake. I can get to work. And then I kept lying there. I was like, I, ha I have to go back to sleep. I just need another 15 minute nap. So then I turned off the camera 
and then I took my 15 minute nap and then I never heard the alarm which I knew this was gonna happen so whatever um I just did the work today I just finished going through oh my this is too much my GWU applications I'm going to submit that when I get to work and then I'm gonna do my other apps Off to work! I just got home. And Justin's coming in like 10 minutes, I think. I went to Target and I bought... I also bought the best cookies. I left Target. Olivia texted me and she goes, I got into UNC for nursing! And I was like, oh my god! So I called her, I said congrats. And then I went to a wine store, I got wine. So we can drink it tonight. It's like a white wine. Waiting for Justin and we're gonna get some pho for dinner. Cause it's perfect pho weather. It's like rainy and cold. I don't think I'm gonna record anything while he's here. Cause it's a little weird, you know? Wait, the wreath looks so good. It does look good. Okay, this side is fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can have some of this now. They can't have this one. They can't have this one. Good job. Good. Candy cane forest. It's a dreidel. <laughs> that's not Christmas. Look, candy cane trees. Oh, that's really cool. How did they even get up there? Oh, ladder. Hello. I'm back to vlogging. Look, it's all gone because I'm doing my interview for Duke today in two hours. I have my interview and it's two 15 minute interviews. It's only 15 minutes and I, and I heard from previous people, the interview is kind of intense and they ask a lot about your research and I was like, oh my God, okay. But I think I'm ready. I think I'm just gonna sound really enthusiastic about science because I am um, and be like, I love science. Yeah, so I've literally just been prepping. I'm like trying to figure out questions that I wanna ask and whatever, but I don't know how it's gonna happen in 15 minutes. I'm like, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but everyone is super cool and I hope I get in because I don't have any other interview. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. No stress. No stress. I'm scared. I'm so scared. A few moments later. I just finished my interview. That was crazy. It was like a lot of questions at once. But I thought they were going to focus more on my research. So there were some questions about my research, which was good. But my research is like cancer biology stuff. So it's not like... And I'm applying for like microbiology research. But now I'm just going to do a puzzle and de-stress because I'm like... I was going through it i was oh my gosh today's today's wednesday on monday i was like preparing for yesterday and i was just like i was going through it every like five minutes was a new motion like sometimes i would be like super excited and then i'll be like i'm not gonna get in and i'll be like i'm not qualified and then i'll be like i don't have any other interviews blah, 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 blah. i'm gonna mess up and then i was like what do they don't want me and then i was like oh i'm excited it was so like okay i'm doing a puzzle and it's one of those magic puzzles it's gonna be super hard but i've tried this puzzle like 10 times and i cannot finish it but i'm finishing it today
You guys got it. Bye, Mom. Good morning. It is Saturday. What's the day? January 20th. And it's 8 a.m. <laughs> And I got accepted into the Duke program. Yay! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Now I can stop stressing. <laughs> Yay! Hello. Um, so you can tell that video was from, or all of these videos are from November, December, when I was going through with my applications. I'm going to do. I'm going to Duke for my PhD in Molecular Genetics and Microbiology and um, I don't know, I kind of wanted to make this video because I'm like a non-traditional applicant, I think. Um, I didn't do any research in undergrad, I was a chemistry major, so I, didn't, I only took two biology classes in undergrad at UNC. Um, I worked a year in biotech and then I did two years doing a post-bac post-baccalaureate fellowship at the NIH um, in the Cancer Institute. So for the last two years, I've been doing um, cancer biology research. I feel like I have to go on the whole journey. Maybe I will do a separate video if anybody wants to say it. Um, so I don't know. I feel like this video is kind of for the non-traditional students who want to go into research. You don't have to. You don't have to have done research in undergrad. You don't have to have a publication. Um, just get the work experience. No exactly why you want to do research i feel like there's gonna be a lot of phd content because i'm about to go into my phd era uh <laughs> so who knows i don't know what i'm doing i might know what i'm doing but i'm it's go with the flow you know this is me six months later since these videos of me like applying and getting in and everything would i do anything differently no i apply to mostly programs that I would only want to go to. I don't think I really wanted or had a backup school because I don't think I would go into a PhD program that I didn't want to go to. Like if I got accepted to any of the programs I applied to, I would be happy going to them. And if I didn't get in, like I was very prepared to not get in, even though that's really scary because I was applying to these pro microbiology programs without any micro experience and no publications. And they're all pretty good schools um so i was prepared to not get anything and i was prepared to do like another year of research or find another year experience and then reapply again um to see if that was better but yeah i mean i applied to nine schools and it really only takes one to get in so i got two interviews and then i got into both of them i got into vanderbilt and i got into duke um and then i decided to go to duke thanks for watching subscribe to three limbs in a pod um i'm gonna try and post more but because i have the summer off kind of claire's the one that's been carrying the whole channel so far which is so funny